Hey everybody. Real quick, I'm just going to kind of show you what I came up with here. This is uh, my first fuel cell. I made a little test cell out of plates at first and I never did put it in anything. It didn't work out too well. So I decided to go with the double helix style. Uh, what the material is here is stainless steel cable ties. Put in series all the way down to the bottom. And I got three positives and three negatives. Because it is three double helixes. One next to each other. Each double helix is the uh, opposite polarity of the one next to it. So no matter which which piece of metal you're looking at there, the one next to it, whether it be inside or up or down, will be an opposite pole. Got my connectors on the front here. Can I show you how that looks like? And I used a zero fossil fuels idea of doing a blowout valve on the top. That way just in case there is too much pressure built up in the cell uh, through a blockage or possibly a uh, flashback into the cell that doesn't get stopped by the uh, bubbler there. Um, then the pressure has somewhere to go instead of just blowing the cell up. This is my bubbler. It's just a water bottle. I think about a 16 ounce, 16.9. Uh, got the inlet on the bottom. I reinforced it with some plastic there because the bottom of the bottle is pretty weak. And I just got the uh, top glued in. So, here in a couple of days, I'm going to put it in the 2001 Honda CRV and see what we can do with it.